Today, we're going to do some uh, computer blowing. <laughs> yes, uh, the wife's computer needs to be blown out of the, the dust and everything out of the power supply and the fans and, the, you know, and so forth. Uh, usually do that once a year, but it really should be done much more often than that because what's been happening she has an e-machine that's several years old, I don't recall how old, that has Windows XP, of course, and she likes XP. But the problem is it's been rebooting itself all by itself without doing anything to it. We looked up on the internet and that could be uh, overheating problems and it also could be bad caps. Um, hopefully it's not bad caps because, uh, well, we're going to inspect that anyways if there's any bulging caps. Uh, I've had a computer that gave me a lot of trouble, and I, there was no bulge caps in that computer, so I don't know. But as far as the power supply is concerned, that's pretty hard to go check that out. But anyways, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go clean it all out now, and uh, hopefully that'll stop the automatic rebooting problems. It doesn't happen uh, every time she's using it, but it seems to happen more as it's running. Uh, but sometimes she can be in the middle of doing something that'll just reboot all by itself. Other times it'll just do it and you're not even on the computer doing anything. So we're going to go and clean it all out now. The compressor's all, you know, filled up and pressurized and everything and ready to go. So let's get started. All right. I cleaned this all out, like I say, probably about a year ago. Increased the memory when she first got the thing, so we got the max memory in there. Information for the memory down here at the bottom. It's not, too, it's not too bad in there. We'll, we'll uh, blow it out with the air gun. That's going to take about three or four recharges to get the whole computer done. And we'll come back in a minute here on the video. Time to recharge the damn thing again. While that's recharging, I'm going to go over this with my magnifying glass and see if there's any bulge caps or anything in here. We added, or I added an extra hard drive, a second hard drive in this a while ago. But she's got this Picasso program that does her photos. And even though I take and move the photos into the uh, second hard drive, it, the Picasso program moves them all back into the into the uh, C drive again, so I gave up trying to do anything with that. So, all right, we have a filter here, which that's all it is, and uh, the power supply. I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to blow as much as that. I'm not going to even worry about. You know, if there's bad caps in here, you just replace the power supply. You don't screw around with them. Uh, but I will check the motherboard out. We'll come back on this video when I do the second round of blowing here. Okay, round number two. Recharge again, this damn thing, I'm telling you. 
And while that compressor's recharging, a, a damp cloth here. Wipe some of this. Not as uh, dusty as I thought it was going to be. I don't like to move around too much in here because. Uh, could uh, screw something up. Now I blew out the uh, the fan in here and the processor, but I'll hit that again because that's the one of the most important things. And I blew in here already, and then in here in the power supply to clean that out. But it wasn't it wasn't all that bad. So we're going to come up on it with a uh, with the blowgun again. Now I'll go and uh, check the caps. Okay, I got this set on macro, and I'm using that little uh, Vivitar thing, and it works out really well. Now, my eyesight, I have to depend on my fingers to feel if the caps are bulged because I don't see them that good. I'm going to do an inspection with uh, my magnifying glass off camera here to make sure that uh, there isn't anything unusual here. But I can't work on this small stuff, even at replacing a cap on these boards and stuff. I just can't do that. My eyesight don't allow it. That's why I got out of... I hate printed circuit work anyways. I like point-to-point -point wiring the old-fashioned radios. but. Uh, all right, let me just uh, let me just check this off camera here. Right there, the largest cap sitting right there next to that toroid coil has a dome on it, but it's not split or anything. I can't work on that stuff; it's too damn small. And then there's another one. There's another one to the right of that toroid coil right there. She's domed, but there again she's not split and not leaking either, by the way. So as you're looking at the uh, computer from this angle, this is the one I just showed you last, and this is the one I showed you first over here. So all the others seem to be okay, but they're, they're domed. So I would, as, I would say that they're probably bad, but like I say, I'm not going to be able to deal with that. It could even be some in the power supply too, but you know, my experience is just change the power supply. The computer shop that I deal with just changes the power supply. They, I had a, a problem with a small computer. My son has one of them Acer uh, vertical jobs, the real thin, skinny jobs, the little ones and it needed a power supply and I had them check the caps and that opened it up they couldn't find one bulge cap in it so but the power supply was nevertheless bad so you can't always go by that because a cap could still be bad even if it isn't bulged but if this was an antique radio and it was a hell of a lot bigger and spaced out more I'd have no problem with it but I don't have any equipment to work on this stuff anymore you know but big magnifiers and all that stuff uh, are all put away all right. What I will do is uh, put a 
if I can find my red magic marker, I'll mark the two caps that have domes on them for future reference. But uh, being that this is an XP, you'll probably go to Walmart.com and you'll probably for around under 300 bucks to be able to get another computer. Uh, it's too bad, you know, because, well, I had this for quite a few years. I don't know how many years. But anyways, that's about it. She's pretty, she's pretty cleaned out. I'm just going to see if I can open these trays here. My, my desktop, I can open them. I can't open them. There we go. Yeah, oh, there's nothing. That's just empty bay. You can't get that out. Has to be powered up in order to get that out. Try to blow it out of there and keep. Maybe I better leave it alone because I'll end up putting dirt in the uh, in the laser um, on the laser uh, LED. And then I'll really have troubles. <laughs> leave well enough alone. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.